Hey, g'day everyone. Welcome back to Guyani Stroopy. It's our uh, Friday afternoon, heading up to the Vic High Country. Um, we got an old mate who used to play basketball with, John Nuts Nuttle, and um, got his son Arch. We're coming up for a couple of nights. Uh, we're heading up Dargo Way, so not too far from home really, probably an hour and a half. Uh, we're going to camp at Black Snake Campground tonight on the Wannangatta River. And from there we'll um, take off in the morning. We're going to do the Crooked River track. Might have to get young Arch to run across the river a couple of times and set the cameras up for us, save me getting my feet wet for a change. And then we're going to go up South Basalt Knob, or South Basalt Track, up to uh, Blue Rag. So, last time I was up there, uh, wasn't much with you. It was uh, first snow for the season, and it was a total whiteout. And I think I was the only vehicle up there that day, so should be good to get some views. Um, and then from there, we're expecting a stinking hot day tomorrow. It should be like mid 30, so we were going to go across to Devil's Hollow and camp there, but if there's too many people there, we'll probably shoot back down to the Dargo River and um, set up camp there so we can go for a swim, sort of cool off a bit. It's probably a better option, really. All right, here's my traveling companions. Oh. That's nuts. And on the other side, we've got Arch just getting out of here. This is the 200 series. G'day Arch, how are you mate? Just come and show him this little uh, mine shaft over here. Well, I think it's a mine shaft. We'll send Arch in, got a torch for him. There you go mate. Yep. It's about 300 metres long. Nah, not quite. Welcome aboard a guy and his troopy mate. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for bringing us, hey? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for only one, but. Just watch that bar there. Oh, echoes. Right, let the old fellas go in as well, I suppose. Uh, pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Couple of rocks coming up nuts. Just shine the torch back there for the old man, I reckon. Right. Yeah, it's about the end of the isn't it? Yeah. So old jump is still here. Wow. What's it say there? Living the dream adventures. This is as far as they got. Not bad, but eh? Oh, yeah. I can stand up. You can't, mate. I can stand straight up. Yeah, right. The mushrooms. Well, it is magic. Oh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Show it back. Show it back, huh? Yeah, that's pretty yeah, what what is that? Lovely tree root root there as well. Yeah. That's cool. That goes a fair way in, doesn't it? Watch your back. Roof. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this is Don't say I never show you anything, alright? Oh. Okay, so I've just taken John and Arch into the little mine shaft thing in me bob, jig, whatever it is, um, just past Pretty Boy Hill. If anyone knows anything about that, a little bit of a history about it, it goes in probably about 70 or 80 metres and it just stops. There's no offshoots, it's just a straight windy tunnel and it just comes to a dead end. So if anyone knows anything about it, just leave a comment down below, I appreciate it. It's about the third time I've been in there. Um, Obviously, it doesn't change much at all, really. There's obviously lots of those old mine shafts around the area because this is sort of the area it is. There's a lot of gold around the Dargo area in the big high country. So, yeah, righty out. Let's keep our uh, punch on and see if we can get the camp set up. Okay, we've uh, just turned on the Wannagatta Road, heading towards our uh, Black Snake camp area. Black Snake Creek Snake Camp area, so. Wannagatta Road, it's a pretty windy, narrow road in sections. It's one of these roads that you can easily have an accident on. You know, I recommend reducing your speed, you know, staying on your side of the road. I so said I lost my troopy for all up, probably six months. You know, if you get on these dirt roads like this, you just want to take your time, there's no point rushing.
little spot. Yeah, it's alright, isn't it? Just gone across the um, Wanangatta River at the Kingwell Bridge. Um, yeah, the water's very low. It's probably lucky to be a foot deep, I reckon. So it's probably the lowest I've seen in a long time. And now we're on the Crooked River track. Uh, we're going to do all these crossings here, and then we'll look at um, South Basalt and see what that's like, and um, see whether John wants to attempt it. You know, saying that, like I've only just got me trippy back. It's been in getting some work done to it. Um, you know, and they're not sure about me lockers, but my front lockers work. I haven't really looked at it to tell the truth. I believe it is. Um, yeah, anyway, time will tell, I suppose. So, anyway, um, should be a good day ahead, hopefully. And, uh, you know, no casualties, no, no vehicles, damage to any vehicles. And we get up to Blue Rag and get some uh, good views, take it all in. I finally got myself a camera boy, run me cameras. Yeah. Look at him go. Come on, Arch, it's gotta be quicker than that. <laughs> He's taking the shallow option.
How good is this? It's great. <laughs> Obviously, it's going to be pretty time consuming, even though I've got young Arch you know, running my cameras back to me and filming us. But I think we'll um, skip a fair few of these and get on to South Basalt track. See how we go there. chat to them what would have been eight cars so yeah nice bunch of people have something to eat. Um, fair crew here. I've asked some questions to a couple of different people about South Basalt and it's been advised that we don't do it. Um, even though I'm twin locked and everything, they reckon it's, they sort of reckon they're going against the idea of heading up there. Just, I'm just worried about the 200 series, not the troopy. I'll sit at the bottom and wait. I'll sit at the bottom and watch. As we discussed before, um, we've decided to skip South Basalt track. Been talking to a couple of guys, forestry guys, just guys that travel, travel the track there a while back, coming down it, and it says it's pretty gnarly. And just spoke to Ben from Adrenaline Off Road Centre. He does like guided tours, does four wheel drive training, and, and all that sort of stuff. And he just said he advises against it, um, especially in like a cruiser. Um, yeah, so we're going to give it a miss, and um, yeah, just crossing another creek here. Just going to continue on now and do Crooked River Track. Then we'll go up Bulltown Bull Town Spur, and then from Bulltown Spur on McMillan's Road, Dargo High Plains, 
Road and then uh, go up Blue Rag again, just up the Blue Rag track. We got into camp pretty late last night. It'd be better to be there a little bit earlier. Give us all a little bit more time to get set up or whatever else. So, but I hope you're enjoying what you've seen so far. It's just Crooked River, pretty much. I think we're up to about Creek or River Crossing, probably about seven or eight now. So, all good.
a few rocks step up over the side, mate, eh?
just that one rock, mate. You sort of just got to hug that other bank so you don't drop down off that rock step there. Try and go a little bit more right hand down if you can. The yeah, RCM might drop off that by the looks of it. Go, mate, you're down. Yeah, we're good. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. No man passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in, somewhere I can find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. I was in the dark, against it all, but made it through.